so I'm going to talk about my experience um, using mind maps and how it kind of changed my perception. So to give you an understanding, I am autistic with ADHD and dyslexia. So a nice little um, powder keg of diversity. Um, I was only diagnosed when I was 25 um, with a proper diagnosis um, when I first attended university. So I had mind mapping software and um, a lot of assistive technology. Um, however, the caveat to that was I was given it front loaded. So going back to what David said and um, what Liam said, it is imperative that you get training on the aspects of what you work in and how you work. Um, because I had a bunch of assistive technology that I didn't know how to use or what context I could use it in. Um, I finished university and then went into the world of work and never once again touched um, assistive technology for almost 10 years. Um, I tried to muddle through um, and kind of hide and work almost five times as hard um, to get to where I need to go. Um, just using you know simple tools on the on the on the web or doing exactly what Liam said, which is drawing mind maps on whiteboards that I paid attention to and then completely forgot what I'd written on them. Um, so yeah, within the workplace, um, since I came to Concept Northern, obviously I have had um, my workplace needs assessment done. I have had all my strengths and all my Core difficulties. The most important software for me, um, and I'm not just saying this because it's the webinar about that, is mind mapping. Everything that I do goes into a mind map. Um, the reason why it's so effective for me is because I have a lot of cognitive short term memory problems. I have a lot of thoughts to action problems, which is tends to be exactly kind of like Liam described, which is looking to formulate a report or go into an Excel and I don't know where to start. Um, so I get paralysis effectively. I go down a rabbit hole thinking about all the things that I can do and that I can't do and that, how it works and what if it needs this and what if it needs that and how you know, oh, I can maybe explain this and I can maybe explain that. Mind view is perfect for me because what it allows me to do is data dump quickly so I can get everything out and I can utilize it in a more productive manner but I don't need to have a structure at the start. I can literally put everything anywhere in terms of following my brain, how it works, how it does. I use Dictate, um, Dictate software as well. So it's a lot easier for me just to kind of keep on going and keep on going. Um, I can type at roughly um, on a 10 words per minute, roughly with my skills from thoughts to action, with the accessibility of mind view, um, I can just go at 130 words per minute. Even in the text note, I can keep on doing that. What it also allows me to do in great sense is um, with my ADHD, I hyperfixate. So I hyperfixate on a certain aspect. Now the great point of mind view is that the fact is that I can then hyperfixate on a certain area, which allows me to then delve and utilize my brain, utilize my productivity in that certain area without losing traction of what else I've thought about. Um, I can't believe, I, I can't stress enough how sort of life changing this can be for someone who's neurodiverse. Um, just giving you the ability to have that visual representation, that bigger picture, you can build that bigger picture by yourself. A lot of the time, my questions often come from when somebody comes and said, you need to build a report for this. The first question that I have, and I've been described in the past as challenging, is why? What do you need it for? And it's not because I'm nosy or anything like that. I need that visual representation. I need to incorporate that into my head. And what that allows me to do, you know, it, it allows me to then build that bigger picture by myself and work backwards. And it allows me to deep dive so I can hyperlink, I can add voice notes, I can add, um, I can basically just get my brain onto a piece of tech, which 
for someone like me, where I think possibly the best way that I can describe myself is if you've ever seen Finding Nemo, I'm Dory. I completely forget things as soon as I switch off to another task. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, I'll, I'll be working on a project and then something will pop up and I'll go, oh, what's that? And I'll do that. What Mind View allows me to do is just completely fixate on that one problem and that one area. And if my mind does wander, I can create a branch or I can create another map or I can create something else. It allows me to keep that stream and that productivity flowing so much easier. Um, and then I can export it into what I need, whether it be a report or whether it be a tender. Fantastic for tender writing due to the fact is that I can sit and look at different areas of what the question's asking. How could that be related to that? How could we do this? What are our policies? How can I, and I can import all that and keep it in a structured manner. Part of my thing is starting structured content. You know, where to start. Um, I used to have a dyslexia coach when I was at university. <laughs> um, part of my autism is that you have to do one, two, three, and four um, in order. Whereas they always turn around and say, well, don't start with one, which is the intro, start with two. And for me, that's incredibly difficult. Um, and especially in that structured sort of corporate manner, which is allowing, you know, everybody expects a report to be in a certain way. What MindView allows me to do is simply go for it you know um the, the, it's it's a fantastically intuitive piece of software as well you know with a dictate and the text read aloud i have um claro as well so i can utilize claro in it but i also use the 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 um the software that's embedded that allows the read aloud um to do that <laughs> the the visual representation that it gives me allows me to be a lot less stressed. My experience of utilizing work in a, in a very, very different way was always, I could never take tasks in if it was done in a structured manner or I could never allow myself to, I would always start asking myself questions and I wouldn't be able to take all the information in. So Mind View is a great piece of, I can sit and take notes while I'm on a meeting or anything else like that. It just allows me that great flexibility to be able to get, like I say, I can't express enough how much it improves my getting my brain out there quick. Um, because I'll forget or I'll go down a different rabbit hole, but it allows me to keep focus and maintain that doing that. So what I'm building with MindView is a visual picture of my concept, whether that be a project, a report, but it allows me to represent what I'm thinking in a far clearer manner than replying to an email or turning around and saying, well, Jamie, what's your thoughts on this? If I was to try and tell you what all my thoughts were, it would take me, you know, 45 minutes, probably. When, when you're in a fast paced environment, it's, you know, you've got a five minute window. What that allows me to do is create what I'm thinking and where I've went and how I'm looking at things. Because it allows me to easily see the bigger picture um, and how concepts are related to each other from an aspect of, you know, whether it's a project in terms of a CRM, what are we looking at, how, how many businesses, how, how are we doing this, how are we doing that. Um, David, my colleague, will be able to tell you that my brain works at 101 miles per hour and um, he's been on teams meeting with me where I'll jump from one subject to the next and this and that having mind view allows me to concentrate all that in one area um, I'm much more likely to understand what I'm thinking understand the follow-through and remember it because when it comes back it's that re visual representation um, once again The impact that it's had on me is I have a lot more confidence in what I can do and what I can put down. Um, before, I always knew that I was, <clears throat> I had extreme difficulties in producing what would be a corporate report. Can you give me an update on this? Can you give me an update on that? Because people were expecting a very structured manner and I would find that incredibly anxious. I would get 
incredibly I would get paralysis I would stave it off I would end up doing it last minute it wouldn't reflect entirely what my best work was and it wouldn't allow me to put my best foot forward I now use mind maps for you know even when I'm talking to people about you know what the solution is or anything else like that for people with access to work or um, building new neurodiversity awareness sessions everything starts from mind view everything starts from a mind map and it allows me to structure that it allows me to be quicker more responsive and in tune with how I work and what my brain um, allows me to do um, love all the features of it um, but yeah I think it's particularly useful for people who are very visual and very hands-on um, as we go through the workplace adjustments and everything else everybody is an individual and um, so they will use it in different ways and and, and and different means but having the ability to have that one-stop shop with mind view is unbelievable and um, has completely changed the way I do I even do a uh, pro my wife is now extremely happy because I do projects for the house on it and I remember them and I can print them out and she can put them on the fridge and remind me that I've got to do these things and I can look at it and see where my start and my plan is and how I'm going to do it. Um, and yeah, I, th I think just like I say, having that adjustment in the workplace, you, you have no idea how life changing it can be for certain people, not feeling that they're not up to scratch and not up to not up to the the job that they've been taken on to do being able to do a lot of things in terms of visual representation is is huge for some people um and you know th these are why we run these sessions to make people aware that you know the slightest adjustments the slightest change in software can make a massive massive difference in someone's life